All right, this is another round of the 10 minute warm up, and we are going to work basically into the hips quite a bit here this time. So bring yourself into Baddha Konasana or, ka or Cobbler's Pose. So this is gonna be soles feet together, knees out wide. Set this up so you can pick your hands up off the floor and sit up tall without having to round your spine. So if your hips are tight, the knees are high, slide the feet away from you a little bit. Now keep your core braced, keep your spine tall, keep it vertical. With an inhale, reach your arms up high. Now with the exhale, twist, turn to the right, right hand down behind, left arm outside the right thigh, crown of the head toward the ceiling, look back over your right shoulder. And then take it back to center, reach up, take an inhale. And with the exhale, twist left, left hand down behind, right arm outside your left thigh, look back over that left shoulder. Inhale, turn to center, reach up. Now with the exhale, twist to the right again, right hand down, left arm outside the right thigh, push into the right thigh. And try to bring your gaze further back. Inhale, bring it to center, arms high. Exhale, twist it left again, left hand down behind, right arm outside your left thigh, look back over your left shoulder. And we'll take one more round. Inhale to center, reach up. Exhale, twist right one more time. Right hand to the floor, left arm outside the right thigh. Look over the right shoulder. And while you hold this, pull the left knee down toward the floor, keeping knees wide. Take an inhale, turn to center, reach up. Now the exhale, twist left one more time. Left hand behind, right arm outside your left thigh. Reach the top of your head straight up. Look over your left shoulder. Now as your right arm pushes into your left leg, pull the right knee down toward the floor best you can. Take an inhale, turn to center, arms high. Now with the exhale, just bring the hands down and set them down outside your hips. Now fingertips pointing away from you. Push into the floor, lift your seat up off the floor. Now keep the feet together, keep your knees wide, and rather than just sagging down between your shoulders, keep your neck nice and long. And then with the knees still wide, just press your hips forward toward your heels, and then pull your weight back, and keep moving back and forth like this. And keep feet, the feet pushing together. Draw the knees out wide as you're moving. If you're tight, you're definitely going to feel this. Now, the next time you come back toward your hands, stay here and stay lifted. And keep that press from the shoulders. And then just move one leg at a time. Bring the left, left heel to the right knee close as you can go. And then set the foot down. Right heel to your left knee. And set the foot down again. Left heel to the right knee. Bring the foot back to the floor, right heel to your left knee again. And bring the foot down, left heel to your right knee one more time. Come back down to the floor with the foot, and then bring the right heel to your left knee one more time. And then back to center with your feet together, set yourself back down. Shake your hands out a little bit. Now I'm just turning for the camera, but I want you to keep the feet together, keep your knees out wide. And then take hold of your knees, keep them wide, and lean back. So come up to balancing on your sit bones here. This is a variation of boat. Feet are still together. Draw this in close. Sit this up tall. And with your, th with your torso upright and your thighs pulled in close, reach forward between your knees. And we're going to go back and forth, lowering and lifting. So as you're ready, just lean back about halfway. Let your legs go forward. And then pull back up and keep your gaze forward. Lower again for two. And then lift this back up. Lower for three. And then pull your legs and sit up tall. Lower for four. And then sit this back up again. Lower for five. And then sit this back up. Lower for six. And then bring the legs back in. Lower for seven. And then come back up. Lower for eight. And then sit back up again. Now lower for nine. And then sit back up. Lower for ten. And then come back up one more time. Set your feet flat about hips with distance apart. And now round your spine. Reach forward as far as you can. And now we're going to curl back, but only take this far enough that you can lift back up. So keep looking forward. Keep your spine round. And as you're reaching, slowly start to bring your, your torso back. Maybe bring the low back to the floor. Stop when you think you're going to lose this. And then reach the fingers. Lift back up and keep your spine curled. Again, start to lean back. Take it slow. Only so far as you know you can lift back up. And then reach the fingers and come back upright. Again, keep your spine rounded. Roll this back. Only take it as far as you can control. Reach to your fingers and lift back up again. Two more times. Roll this back. Keep your spine rounded. And then reach to the fingers and lift back up. One more time. Roll this back. Now, once you think you're just about at your limit, hold here. Belly pulled in. Reach forward through the fingers. Take an inhale. And with the exhale, just release. And then once you're down, go ahead, bring your arms out to your sides, fold your knees right and left for a moment just to keep things loose. 
and then go ahead, bring your knees into center here. Set your feet flat. We're going to take a variation of bridge. So feet on the floor, about hips with distance apart. Bring your heels in close to your seat. So you're starting with your low back basically flat. And then arms out to your sides, elbows in line with the shoulders, but keep the forms vertical, make your hands into fists. This is basically like a bench pressing position. So keep the fists clenched and your elbows and shoulders pressed down, gaze up toward the ceiling. And we're going to go up and down from here. So with an inhale, pressing your feet, lift your hips, squeeze your glutes, and then roll your spine down. Press your hips up high. And then roll this down again, lift your hips, and then bring it back down. Press your hips up high, squeeze your glutes and then lower to the floor. Lift your hips up again, and roll it back down. Press your hips up high, and then lower. Now lift up one more time, and stay lifted here. Now keep your glutes squeezing, keep lifting. Bring the feet in a little bit closer to each other, and as you stay lifted here, just bring one leg in at a time. So pull the right knee in toward your chest, and then set the foot, and then draw your left knee in, and bring the foot back down. Pull the right knee in close, Set the foot on the floor, pull your left knee in, and come back to center. Bring the right knee toward your chest, keep your hips up. Set the foot down, draw your left knee in close, and then both feet to the floor. Pull the right knee in again, and then set that foot back down. Pull your left knee in tight, and set the foot one more round. Draw the right knee in, and then set the foot on the floor. Pull your left knee in. And then set that foot back down. Now with both feet down, dig into your heels, squeeze your glutes, press up even higher. And lift your toes up off the floor. Try to pull the heels up toward your shoulders. Take an inhale. With the exhale, come all the way down. Now once you're down, bring your knees to your chest. Bring your hands to your knees and squeeze. And then lift your head and shoulders. Look forward. Now cross at the ankles. Roll this forward to a seat. And then once you're up, just keep the feet about hips with distance. And we're going to take this down onto the forearms. We're taking this in the hips a little bit further. So why don't you bring both forearms down to the floor. Now, once you come down, just keep the forearms parallel, elbows underneath the shoulders, more or less. Walk the feet in close, and then just lift your seat up off the floor. Now, the hips are going to stay lifted, but just keep them low here. Now, we're going to open up the hips, and you should feel this on the inner thighs. Keep your chest lifted as much as you can. Keep your hands pushing down. Now, extend your right leg toward the ceiling straight as you can go. You can bend the knee if you need to, but then right leg straight out to the side. Try to bring the big toe down to the floor close as you can, and then bring the right leg back up and set the foot down. Keep your chest lifted. Left leg high, straighten best you can. Left leg to the side, bring the big toe down toward the floor. Lift straight up and set the foot. Right leg again, reach up. Out to the side, big toe down toward the floor. Right leg up high and bring the foot down. Left leg up again. Out to the side, bring the big toe down toward the floor. Lift back up and set the foot. One more time with the right leg, extend this up. Out to the side, big toe down toward the floor. Lift back up and set the foot. Left leg one more time, reach up. Out to the side, big toe down toward the floor, best you can. Reach back up and set the foot. And then set yourself down. Come up onto your hands. And once you lift it, just take a moment, roll your shoulders out a little bit. Once the shoulders are ready, cross at the ankles, roll forward your hands into all fours. And then from all fours, we want to take this into the wrist. So I want you to bring your knees out wide, wider than your hips. Big toes point toward each other. Walk your hands in close. So they're basically just right in front of your knees, but keep the hand shoulder width. Now with your palms down, rotate your fingertips out to the side and then in toward your feet. And spread your fingers wide. Dig your fingertips down. Now just grip the floor. Keep your hips low here and just move side to side. And you're going to stay here if this is enough, especially if your wrist is really tense. Now, if you're able to take this further, go ahead, bring your shoulders pull forward, pull the elbows underneath you, and keep gripping with your hands. Take as much weight on your arms as you can. And then from here, keep your weight forward, keep your grip, and let's move the legs one at a time. So extend your left leg straight out to the side. Try to touch the heel to the floor. And then set that knee down. Right leg to the side with the heel down. And then come back into center. Left leg out to the side again, heel to the floor. Come back into center. Right leg to the side, touch the heel down. And then back to center here one more time with your left leg out to the side. And then bring it back to center. One more time with the right leg to the side. Back to center here again. And then come up onto the fingertips, down to sitting on your heels. And take a moment here, shake your hands out, loosen your fingers and loosen your wrists. And then once your hands are ready, come into all fours. And then from all fours, we take it down to a forearm plank. So bring both forearms down. Now you can set it up with the forearms parallel or put the palms together, whatever suits you best. Just keep the elbows at shoulder width. And then step your feet back, bring your body into line. 
But set the feet up about hips with distance apart. Now keep your hands pushing down, keep your spine lifted, hold that lift. And let's go back and forth one leg at a time. So as you hold this, keep your chest facing down. Pull your left knee forward close as you can to your left shoulder. And then step back. Bring your right knee to the right shoulder. And step back. Left knee forward for two. Step it back again. Bring your right knee forward. And then step back. Left knee forward for three. Step it back again. Right knee forward. And then step back. Left knee forward for four. And then step it back. Right knee forward. And step it back again. Left knee forward for five. Step it back. Bring your right knee forward. And then step back again. Left knee forward for six. Step it back. Bring your right knee forward. And step back again. Left knee forward for seven. Step it back. Bring your right knee forward. And step back. Left knee forward for eight. Step it back. Bring your right knee forward. And step back again. Left knee forward for nine. Step it back. Bring your right knee forward. And step back again. Left knee forward for ten. Step it back. Bring your right knee forward. Step back one more time. And then from your forearm plank seat, your feet are still hips width. Roll your heels left and come up onto your left hand. Now right forearm down. Keep your hips lifted. You can stay here. This is good enough. Now if you can take it further, take a half bind. Left arm behind your back. Keep the shoulder drawn back. Now keep your left foot pressing down. And just move your right leg from underneath. Step the right foot forward. And then step it behind. Right foot forward. And step it back again. Right foot forward. Step it back one more time. Come back to center to the forearm plank. I'll take it the other way. Roll your heels left. Come up onto your right hand. Keep your hips lifted. Maybe stay here. If you're going to go further, right arm behind your back. Palm face me. Keep the hips lifted. Keep the shoulder pulled back. Right foot presses down. And just move your left leg from underneath. Step the left foot forward. And then step back. Forward again. And then step back. Left foot forward. Step back one more time. Back to your forearm plank. Back to center. And then set your knees down. Come up to all fours and just breathe. Now, one more thing before we move on from here. So this is going to go into the hips, into the shoulders, and then we'll work a little bit of compression. So we're going to take this down to a dolphin pose. So come back down to the forearms. You got the same choices here. You can keep the forearms parallel with the palms down or put your palms together, whatever suits you best. Just keep the elbows at shoulder width and keep your hands pushing down. Now tuck the toes with both feet. Lift your knees and bring your hips up high. Walk your feet in and get your hips up as high as you can. Let your head just hang. Keep your hands pressing down. Now back and forth here. With an inhale, raise your right leg high behind you. Bend your right knee, hang your right foot left. And then straighten the right leg and bring the foot back down. Left leg up high. Bend the knee, hang the left foot right. Straighten the leg, reach up, and set the foot down. Right leg high again. Bend the knee, hang the right foot left. Straight leg, reach up, and then bring the foot down. Left leg up high. Bend the knee, hang the left foot right. Left leg straight, straighten up, and then set the foot down. One more time, right leg high. Bend the right knee, hang the foot left. Straight leg, reach up, and bring the foot down. Left leg high one more time. Bend the knee, hang the left foot right. Straight leg, reach up and bring the foot down. You're still in dolphin. Now we're going to take this to the baby crow. So push in your hands, keep your hips high. Walk your feet forward, bend the knees and bring the thighs in toward the sides of your ribs. Now try to round everything in close. Bring the knees toward the armpits close as you can go. And if you can touch the knees to your arms, keep looking forward, keep leaning. See about leaning enough to lift your feet. This is baby crow. And just come as close as you can. All right, when you're ready, go ahead and set everything now. Come up to all fours. Take a moment. Move around here. And that is the 10-minute warm-up for this round. So thank you very much.